the eternal struggle of the Romans against the Macedonians, the Western against the Eastern Roman Empire, which was created and ruled by Macedonian dynasties, the struggle of the Catholic against the Orthodox Church, also created by Justinian I the Great, born in the Macedonian village near Skopje, didn't stop with the fall of Arcana, nor with the Crusades or the fall of Constantinople. All the divisions of the Macedonian territories and Macedonian peoples represent only a diversion of the Western imperialists and capitalists for the conquest of the Macedonian region of Europe, from where the very name of the continent comes, and only recreates discord, violence, destruction and wars. The crises in Syria and Ukraine are just another episode of this millennial global conflict. How far-fetched and painfully egoistic this doctrine is, shows the fact that in 1856, the Vienna, then the cultural center of Europe, was considered the last frontier of civilization and the forecourt of Asia, which according to Clemens von Metternich's understanding of geography, starts from the Landstrasse, a street that led from Vienna to the southeast, and the Macedonian peninsula it was considered part of Asia, and not Europe. This romantic selfish, but extremely cruel and false concept of civilization that was created in the 18th and 19th century by the Western Europeans, and different from the civilized barbarian dichotomy, which is ancient has grown into a perverted xenophobic, self-living monster, incorporated into the duplicitous concept of the international community, with an exclusive headquarters in Western Europe. Everything that was outside of Western Europe, began to be treated as if it existed only and exclusively for their own benefit, and profit, and even is treated as, a mentally retarded and extremely backward environment, and as such, destined only for the exploitation and eventual elimination. This extreme chauvinist, new doctrine of the self-righteous Eurocentrics, has finally received its fabricated scientific form, through the new version of history, created in the institutes and universities of Germany and England. Particularly significant for this fraud is the University of Göttingen, where as early as 1770-1780, this new chauvinist and racist model was created. It was institutionalized already from 1820, when the new invasion theory, about the Indo-Europeans as white, warlike conquerors from the north, was intensively shaped. Was saying what about the origins of Greece? Oh, up until the 1820s, everybody was saying the Greeks were colonized and civilized by Egyptians and Phoenicians. Okay, then what happened and who were the, the movers and shakers, to use a contemporary okay. term? Uh, they were uh, German and English scholars. Mm -hmm. uh, and they started uh, the attack, I mean, the particular university, which I think was crucial in this move, was the University of Göttingen uh, in central Germany, but it had very close connections to England because it was under the same rule, the same King of Hanover ruled uh, England. Uh, and this university really produced the scholarship uh, which was able to uh, overthrow the model. It was also the university to produce the first systematic racism and it was a pioneering university at the end of the 18th century. You said that this university has served as the model. So, already and right after 1840 throughout Europe, this new modern theory of the white invaders from the north, was uniformly spread and fanatically propagated and copied. As projection of their current dominant position of world conquerors and colonizers, the Eurocentrics self-mirrored and copy-pasted themselves on the events from the distant past, and the myth of white, ancient conquerors was born. This unbelievable hoax of the world history is now called by the scholars as, the conventional historiography.